Hi, it's Paris from Epic Review Guys, and today I'm risking life, limb, and possibly my head being attached to my neck, trying out this as seen on TV, Neck Magic Air Cushion. Epic Review Guys. Now, I think I might feel a little bit more comfortable being prescribed this device by a chiropractor or a doctor than finding it on the as seen on TV section of my local store, but for around $15, you can buy this device that you, uh, it has a little pump, you pump it up and it stretches your neck out several inches. If you really want one of these and you can't find it locally, I'll put a link to it down below this video. Now lots of people have neck and back pain and it can be very hard to treat successfully. You go to different doctors, they suggest different things, you don't want to do surgery and so forth. So I understand people looking for other solutions that might help out with that kind of pain. This one claims, and I was really looking all over the box for some big notice that says get your doctor's permission before using this, but no, they, they seem to think it's not that serious a thing. It's basically the principles of traction, where they sort of stretch you out and everything's supposed to line up then, and when they let you go back together, the pieces all fit together right. Now I do have occasional neck pain, and I'm actually in the market right now for a new pillow, something that can support my head better when I'm sleeping, so be expecting to see a review of some pillows in the near future, but for now I thought I would try this out and see if it provides all this comfort and total relaxation and good posture that it claims. Also, if it hurts and how likely it is that you're going to hurt yourself trying to use it. Okay, now where's my big announcement that says check with a doctor before using it? Well, on this page of very simple instructions at the very bottom in small print, warning, consult your doctor prior to use if you have a pre-existing condition. So they're not too concerned about it. I guess maybe I, should, I don't have to be as worried about this as I thought. Here is the device. If it looks a little weirdly shiny, yes, I think so too. I thought almost it had like a grease on it, but I don't quite feel that. I don't know if the rubber's done something while well, it's been sitting on the shelf, decomposed a little. This side has a cushion and there's an open spot here where you see only two of the rings. It says to put this on your neck with the Velcro side facing forward. And then you have just like a blood pressure pump bulb with a little valve that you open up Fill it up till your neck is comfortably supported and stretch it beyond that if you like. This is supposed to be one size fits all, but if you look at this <laughs> the size of my head, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to have to do something a little different. Okay, it separates right here. Here, I found the Velcro. And I was wondering how I was going to pull that over my head. Okay. So all the Velcro pieces go in front. And this, um, the soft velour side goes up, so it's... Um, that's what your skin rests on rather than the cold plastic. Then you Velcro it so I guess it's snug but not tight. Breathing is encouraged. Okay. All right. No emergency release thing on this as far as I can tell yet. You know with the blood pressure machines at the supermarket, if it just keeps inflating and inflating and so painful, you can just hit that big red button and lets all the air out instantly. This doesn't seem to have one of those. There we go. They say to sit in a comfortable chair, legs together, facing forward, and basically do a 15 to 30 minute session of this. Okay. It's good, I can tell you, I feel it pushing the back of my neck up, but it is, it's going up, it's not going like this. Okay, I'm running out of extra room here. It's gonna get into stretch mode pretty quick. All right, looking forward. So I don't wanna tip my head, because it feels like I should be putting my head back. All right, that, that's it. Now, that's, that's supporting my neck. Anything beyond this is stretching my neck. Okay, that's making it harder to talk. Wow, it really has gotten bigger. No, it's coming up more in the back. Oh, it's kind of hurting. How'd they say to let the air out? There we go. Oh. Whew. 
Yeah, I think I overdid it because it was starting to push my head like this and the muscles right across the, the, right from the shoulders down the back there, all of a sudden we're going, we don't like this, we're trying to keep the head on. It did let the air out pretty quickly though and I, I feel okay, so I'm going to try this again but not go that far, so there is a limit to how far you want to push it in stretching out your neck. Feels like this is not quite centered. Okay, here we go. Okay, it's right to the point I'm feeling those muscles in the back saying don't do that again, so I think I'll leave it right there. <sighs> relax. I guess you can kind of relax because you don't have to hold your head up anymore. Let me put my arms down here. I don't think I'm supposed to be putting my head forward like this, but when I relax, this is where it wants to go. Okay, they didn't say go to sleep, so <laughs> let's straight ahead and we'll just relax. Okay, it's been a few minutes. Hard to really relax. Um, I'm feeling my, uh, my pulse, like, I don't know, somewhere in this side of my head, like something's squeezing on the carotid artery there and transmitting the pulse through. I don't like that. Okay, I'll take it off. Ugh, choke me a little here and see how it feels. How my neck feels. Having been expanded a little. Oh! Mmm. feels a little like part of a, a therapy they give you sometime when you're having that craniomuscular or muscular skeletal, anyway, that kind of alignment thing. Not exactly a chiropractor, but a person who makes sure everything is lined up and they sometimes will pull your head up and try to see, see that it is. It feels like somebody's been doing that on it. Okay, I, I can't say that I, I was in pain before, so I don't feel improvement in that way. Maybe somebody who was having some discomfort because, the again, I have no medical training whatsoever. I'm just guessing at this stuff based on what this might do to sort of take the pressure off those um, the vertebrae and the little uh, pads in there in the spine, something like that. But the only thing I'm feeling residually is, again, right here on my back, those muscles saying, hey, we're trying to hold the head on. Don't be doing this stuff. I did it for about five minutes. I can't really imagine sitting for 15 to 30 minutes doing this. Maybe watching TV where you have something else to distract you. You could do it, but that would only be if you felt better after using it rather than in my case where now I got this muscle stuff that's going to take a day to go away. But it seems well built, it seems to do exactly what it says in a, a comfortable, not too fast or extreme way, it will stretch your neck out. So if that's something that you feel you need to have done and you want a device to do it, this as seen on TV neck magic air cushion seems like it does the job just fine. It seems fairly well built. Um, I, I think it would last through lots of inflations and deflations. $15 seems like a reasonable price, so if this is something you're interested in trying out, I'll put a link to it down below this video. I would say though, go slow on it. Don't decide, well, let's see how much I can stretch things out the first time, because that's what pulled those muscles in uh, the back of my neck. This will let you hurt yourself, I guess you can say, so it's up to you to know when to stop. If you don't feel comfortable making that decision for yourself, then probably don't try this on your own or have someone who has some medical training use this on your neck. This is something I'll probably put on the shelf, but I can't imagine I'll be using this again in the near future. However, the next time my wife tells me I'm being a pain in the neck, I'll tell her, I got just the thing for you. Shopping is easy when you know what to buy. At Epic Review, guys, a gift of a try. What does the fox buy? Nobody knows. But before he goes shopping, he watches our videos.